Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating the pulse generator circuit. We would be using the NE555 timer for this particular simulation and we would be simulating this particular circuit using the LT Spice tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel below. Now click on component and from the select component type for NE555 timer place this particular NE555 timer on the schematic window. Now again click on add component and go back to the library select the voltage source and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Now right click and change the reference as VCC and click on ground place the ground across the voltage source now click on wire connect the ground to the negative terminal of the voltage source and from the positive terminal extend this particular wire now click on add label and define this label as VCC and place this on the schematic window now right click on the voltage source define the DC value as 5 volt now for this particular circuit, we require the 5 volt supply across the pin number 8 that is the VCC pin and across the reset pin. So click on wire and extend the wire across the VCC and the reset pin and click on label net and define this label net as VCC and also place this particular label net VCC across the pin number 8 and pin number 4 now across the pin number 7 okay with this the discharge pin place the resistor R1 as shown in this particular tutorial now right click on the resistor and the value of the resistor must be defined so we have to define the value of resistor as 1 mega ohm uh, it has to be 1 mega ohm and click OK. Now the resistor needs to be connected. So click on wire and connect the terminal 1 of resistor to VCC and the second terminal of the resistor is connected to the discharge pin as shown in this particular tutorial. Next click on resistor place a second resistor that is R2 yes, click escape and uh, now we have to define the value of a resistor uh, before that let us click on wire connect this particular threshold pin or the pin number 6 of the triple 5 timer that is from the trigger pin to the threshold pin so the pin number 2 and the pin number 6 are connected and from the terminal 1 of the resistor R2 is connected to the terminal 2 of resistor R1 and the terminal 2 of resistor R2 must be connected to the trigger pin and the threshold pin. Now right click on the resistor and define this as 1 kilo ohm. Now click on capacitor. Place this particular capacitor C1 on the schematic window and click on wire and uh, connect this particular capacitor C1 to the resistor R2 and click on ground and place this particular ground across the resistor C1 and connect the ground connection to the capacitor C1. Right click on the capacitor and uh, 
define the value of capacitance as 0 0.02 microfarad and again click on ground and connect the ground connection to the now click on wire and uh, we have to connect the wire from the pin number 3 of any triple five timer so extend this wire now click on label net and place this label net out on the pin number 3 now click on spice analysis and define the stop time as 4 milli and place this on the schematic window now define the value of capacitance as 0 0.02 microfarad now run this particular simulation and place the probe across the out now in order to view this particular result zoom zoom in now we can see this particular pulse generation for this particular circuit now let us say we change the value of the resistor around 10 kilo ohm and click ok and run this particular simulation uh, let the value of capacitance be changed to 0 0.01 microfarad and run this particular simulation now place this particular probe across the output and you can see the pulse generator for this particular circuit thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below